Hi everyone, Ravi this side. Welcome to Engineering Adda. So in this video we are going to discuss what is projection and how we can achieve projection through Spring Data JPA in our Spring Boot application. So first of all I just want to clear you about what is projection. So let's say when we are using Spring Data JPA to implement the persistence layer then in that case the repository typically returns one or more instance of the root class right let me try to explain you so let's say i have created this spring boot crud project right here we have one entity okay or the root class you can say and it has couple of attributes and here we have implemented the product repository and here we are extending the jpa repository and we have couple of methods provided by the JPA repository which is typically returning the root class or the list of the root class right but in some of the cases let's say we don't need all the attributes from the root class let's say we have product here right and it has seven attributes but in some of the cases we don't need all the attributes we need only customized classes in our case right in that case how we can achieve that right how we can achieve how we can retrieve the customized classes let's say the customized class only needs uh, these four attributes id name price and the quantity not all attributes so how we can do that so there comes the picture of projection so using projection we can project only the required attributes in a particular class and then we can return that so this is what we are going to implement in this video so let's get started for that so first of all i will brief you through this application that i already developed so here you can see this is the spring boot crud project and if you don't know how to create the spring boot crud project then you can watch the videos on my channel and here what i had did i just only created one spring boot crud project created couple of apis here in the controller so let me try to brief you all those things here so first of all we have created the entity it has seven attributes created the repository which is extending the jpa repository and then we have created the product service interface its implementation class implemented all those method using the product repository we are calling the methods which are provided by the JPA and then we are achieving those things and then di directly we are creating the product controller and there we have created the APIs and calling the methods that we have implemented in the product service okay so this is the flow let me try to go to the application properties file and here you can see we have uh, configured our username URL password okay and the server dot port and this is the configuration so that we can run the hibernate query in the console so these are some basic things that i already have developed so many times and i already have discussed all these things so many times so if you are new to this then you can go and watch how we can create the spring boot crud project from basic and then here you can come and then you can see how we can do the projection in spring boot application okay so this is the flow and let me try to hit couple of apis and try to show you those things so we are using the databases product database and let me go to the controller here you can see the class level mapping is api products and when you are going to find all the products from the db then you need to hit this api right so let me open the postman and try hitting this api okay so before that let me try to make our application up and our application is up on the port number 9000 the class level mapping is api products and for this get mapping we have to additionally add the all okay so let me go to the postman and this is the url for us just hit enter and now you can see we have three products id1 2 and 3 okay now this is how our application is looking like it's working fine you can also 
uh, try hitting the other APIs, I will provide the link of this GitHub repository in the video description. Okay. So what I will do, I will try to push this project to the Git. From there, I will try to copy the link of the GitHub repository and provide you in the video description. Okay. So that you can use it. So this is the application that we have developed. Now what we need, we need to let me try to go to the postman. Here you can see we are getting the list of product and in the product we have all the attributes from the entity. But what we need now we need the list of products and with the attributes like ID name price and the quantity only not description date and rating. Okay, so you want to retrieve the list of products with the attribute ID name price and the quantity only four attributes not all. So how we can do that? So we'll try to do it using the projection. So let me try to go to the IntelliJ and let me try to develop those things. So first of all, let me try to brief you about the database that we are using. So here we are using MySQL as a database. I have connected through the MySQL and this is the table that we have created. And this is the database that we have using in the project. You can see. Let me go to the application properties file and here you can see this is the database that we are using in our application and the table name is product table. Let me go to the entity and show you. So here you can see the table name that we have defined here is product table and for that it has already created one table in our DB and this is the table name for that. Just run the select query and you can see we have three products that we are also fetching in the postman. Now the question is how we can implement the projection. Okay. So first of all, we need to create one method inside the product repository, which will be fetching out only the four attributes from the database. Okay. So let me try to go to the DB and let me try to show you like we need to run this native query in order to fetch only four attributes or the required attributes. So the required attributes are ID, name, price and the quantity from product table. Underscore table. Okay, select ID, name, price. Okay, so we are getting the error in quantity. So we have misspelled it. Quantity. Okay, so you can see we are able to fetch out the require attributes okay so this is the query that we need to implement in our product repository in order to fetch out only the required attributes from the particular entity or the uh, root class you can say okay so this is the query that we are going to implement in our product repository that will fetch out the required attributes from the database and then once we'll get those things then we'll try to implement one uh, service method and then we'll try to create one API in the controller so that we can hit this endpoint. So that is the flow. So we are back tracking those things. So first of all we'll try to create one native query and then we'll try to implement the method that we have created in the product service which will be fetching out the native query result and then we'll try to create one controller API. So let me try to go to the product repository and here you can see let me try to create one method here which will be returning the projection right. So for that we need to create one projection here. So as of now let me try to create one interface product projection okay 
projection get product with required attributes okay something like that this should not be this long but yeah for your understanding i'm just uh, writing the method like this get products with the required attributes and it will be returning one projection okay so we need to create this projection right so first of all let me try to create one package called projection okay and here we'll try to create one interface called projection so just right click on it go to the java class select interface and this is the interface that we have created now we need to have the get method for all the attributes that we are fetching from the db okay so let me try to do that so integer get id similarly we have the string get name name and then we have this price price is double i would say we'll cross check that okay and then we have the quantity which is in teaser okay so these are the four attributes that we want to fetch from the db now why is the problem okay let me try to import this in this repository okay list as well and we need to okay so it should be list of this yeah it is good so it should return the list of product projection right so we'll try to write the native query here okay so let me try to do that so this is the query which is fetching out the required attributes from the product table for the particular product right so you can see as of now we are just fetching out all the products so just copy this piece of code or the query and paste it here in the uh, query okay so it should be value is equal to this and the query type is native query native query is equal to true okay so what this method will do we'll try to fetch out the list of products with the particular attributes okay and this is not the implementation let me try to remove this so this what this method will do we'll try to fetch out all the products with the particular attributes like id name price and the quantity from the db and then just will return this and this is the uh, returning the pro, uh, product projection so we have four methods or the corresponding methods whatever attributes we are returning from the db okay so that we can fetch the details for that so we are good now now just one thing i just want to cross check is the price so price is double and in the projection also we have declared it as a double so we are good now now we need to create one uh, product service method for it where we can consume where we can call the methods that we have created inside the product repository which is fetching out the list of product with the required attributes so let me go to the product service and let me try to create it so just one more thing okay so let me go to the product repository and here you can see this is returning the list of product with the required attributes right and the return type is list of product projection in the projection we have four methods which is corresponding to the attributes that we are returning now we need to map these things to a dto okay so we need to create one dto so let me try to create one uh, package called DTO and here we need to create one product DTO 
okay and in the product detail we should be having only four attributes which are the required attributes that we are returning from the db so let me try to go to the product copy these four attributes and paste it in the dto okay and now let me go to the service package go to the product service and here we need to create one method which will call the method that we have created inside the product repository so let's say the list and the return type for this is list of product DTO so that we can map the uh, map the result which is getting from the product repository or from the DB okay so get products with particular or the required something like that required attributes okay and we'll try to implement this method inside the implementation class so come here Okay, let me try to override this. So copy this piece of code, paste it here, and it is the list of product DTO. Okay, and the method name is get product with the required attributes. We are not passing anything try to remove these things as well so this is the method that we have created now we'll try to implement the uh, method inside the product repository so let me try to come here so in this method we are just going to call the method that we have created inside the product repository okay so come here to the product service using the product repository A reference that we have already auto wired on the up you can see we are just going to call the method that we have created inside the product repository so this is the method and its return type is list of product projection okay so we need to create one list with the product projection okay and let's say it is product projection and then we have to convert this values inside the DTO okay so we have the list of product projection which we are fetching from the DB so I will try to explain you the whole flow so as of now what we have uh, we are just fetching out the let me try to go inside this so you can see let me try to go to the product service implementation so here you can see what we are doing we are just calling this product get product with the required attributes method which is inside the product repository which is returning the list of product with the required attributes and then we have created one list and then we are containing those things in a list now what we'll do let me try to uh, create one list with the product DTO as well okay so that we can map this result in the product DTO so product DTO Product details, new array list, import this, and now for each of the product projection, okay, let's say projection. So, what we are going to do? So, let's say this is returning the list of product with the required attributes. Now, we'll try to iterate this list one by one and whatever record we are getting we'll try to map this into the DTO okay so that we can fetch out the result and display it to the client okay so let me try to map this so we have the list of projection and we need to convert this list of projection into the product DTO 
so for that we are just looping through the projection list and we'll try to convert it into the product details and then we'll try to add it to the list that we have created here okay so how we can do that so we'll try to create one constructor here which is for the product dto and there we'll try to pass the value which we are fetching from the projection okay so projection dot get id dot get name dot get price and then we have let me try to put it down so that you can see it better and then we have the quantity right and we are simply adding these things to the list of product DTO that we have created okay so add this so we are here here let me try to remove this we have created this list we have created this projection and we are converting the projection to the product DTO and then we are adding this to the product DTO list okay where we are getting the error so we don't have the constructor for the product DTO let me try to go to the product DTO and uh, let me try to create the constructors here so all argument constructor no argument constructor and the data so go to the implementation and now we are good right and here we need to return the list of product detail that we have created okay so we are good now so this is what the implementation is let me try to brief you everything that we have created as of now so let me try to go to the database so here you can see we have created this query and run this query and we are fetching the required details required attributes right and this is the query that we are going to consume in the method that we have created inside the product repository and again this method we are consuming inside the implementation that we have did it in the product service implementation class now this is returning the this is returning the list of product projection and then we are back converting or we are mapping this product projection in the DTO that we have created which is product DTO and then simply we have created this product DTO list there we are adding each of the products that we are getting from the DB okay or we are getting from the product projection so first we are converting it to the DTO and then we are adding to the list and then returning the list okay so this is what this method is doing now let me try to go to the controller create one API here so this is the git API just copy this piece of code come down paste it here let's say it is projection and this is returning the list of product DTO get projection okay just call the service implementation method which is get product with the required attributes and simply return it so we are good now again let me try to summarize everything that we have did now so this is the high level view we have created this API let me try to go inside this method so here we have created the implementation method in the implementation we are fetching out the list of product with the required attributes from the DB converting it to the DTO and then 
adding to the DTO list and then simply returning it. Let me try to go to the product repository method that we have created. This method is returning the list of product with the required attributes. Okay, so this is the whole flow. Let me go to the controller and let me try to run the application again and try hitting this endpoint. So copy this endpoint. Come here to the postman and just paste it here and just hit enter. So as of now you can see we are getting all the products but with the required attributes only. Not all the attributes are coming here. So ID, name, price and the quantity are only coming. So this is what projection is and this is how you can implement projection in the Spring Boot application using Spring Data JPA. Okay, so this is about the video guys. If you like the video, please hit the like button and please subscribe the channel for more such content. Thanks.